Okay, now let's look at the key stats from that game. Now, we'll start with Theo Walker. I mean, he has now scored four goals in his last Champions League games at the Emirates. You would say that's a success for him. But then, what about other stats from that? Arsenal's biggest home defeat since November 1998. The last one was actually a 5-0 loss to Chelsea. And that was in the so League Cup. Not the Champions League. But this is the Champions years. League. And Ugh. tend to aggregate defeat is the worst suffered by an English side in the Champions League. And for the red card, the 18th red card in the Champions League for Arsenal, one more that Bayern has got 19, and only Juve has received more. That's 22. So not also a good record for Arsenal at all on the night. And another one is only one Champions League tie has seen a greater margin of victory for a team. And that was, Bayern also got that record <laughs> against a Sporting uh, Lisbon, and that was in 2009, 12-12. One aggregate win, and only Barcelona 27 uh, goals against Celtic have scored more goals in the Champions League against a single team than Bayern. Bayern have scored 26 against Arsenal, mm. not a good one. No. The last appearances in the knockout stage, the results are usually not good. I mean, yesterday, as I was talking about, they usually fight, but it's like the fight, it's not there anymore. Mm. Well, they might struggle, you know, to make it to the top four every season, they might struggle to make it the top three, top two, you know, surprise everyone, you know, and see if they can push the eventual winners to the title in, that one in the Premier League. But when it comes to the FA Champions, this is a league of champions. For you to become the champion, you must have the quality to get that done. See, since 2010, the last time Arsenal got to the quarterfinals from Club was in 2010. And look at 2010 to this present moment. They faced Bayern, Barcelona. The only time we expected them, you know, to go through was against Monaco. They failed to go through because they underrated Monaco. Yeah. Look at the caliber of players they had in 2010. These were players who were ready to die on the pitch. But right now, Arsenal's got a bunch of average players. They don't have fighters. What? So next season, we'll still say the same thing. Okay. Because Arsenal will come up against Madrid next season and they will still lose 10 goals to 1 on aggregate because they don't have the players. Well, well, Truth be told, they don't have the players. See, players like Alex will be 2007, 2008, 2009 were yeah. players who will play the FA Cup, Carling Cup for Arsenal. But these days, you have these guys starting. Don't forget the first leg when Lauren Koscielny came out. Karen Gibbs was the, the, uh, the captain. It says a lot about the squad. So until Arsenal ship out, you know, the bunch of average players they have in that squad, they are going nowhere. Next season, they will still get beaten. Okay. Well, Joseph, Alexis Sanchez <laughs> is not uh, average uh, by any means. Um, what do you make of his performance yesterday? His antics after he was taken off as well? Well, it, it's body language. I Mostly. mean, it wasn't good at all. It shows that maybe uh, Alexis wants an out of Arsenal. Okay. okay. Now, we'll just look at the papers now because uh, we don't have time for the Madrid game anymore. But we'll take it from the papers as Sporting Sun. And the big one is uh, Barcelona versus PSG. Barcelona can score six goals. That's what Enrique is saying on Sporting yeah, Sun. But we'll then see then how just five that goals will qualify. happen. And Zlatan gets a three match band. We'll see if Mourinho, at least you have to rest now and go to Dubai for holiday. <laughs> uh, complete sports here. Barcelona, I, uh, historic a comeback. That's from Complete Sports. And Real Madrid cruise. 3-1 against Napoli, 6-2 on aggregate. Ramos double actually helped them to set the pace. Osimhen doubtful and Bazet trains alone. That's talking about the friendlies in London against Senegal and Burkina Faso. We have Sporting Life. Yeah, Sporting Life. Um, Champions League obviously dominating uh, the front page. Uh, Gunners humiliated again. Ramos Morata to sink uh, Napoli. Yeah, it's an opportunity to see Real Madrid uh, through uh, to the um, quarterfinals as well. So, and last but not the least, um, uh, Dortmund must play 300% better against uh, Benfica. That's the match tonight uh, between uh, Borussia Dortmund and Benfica. Benfica lead that one uh, by a lone ghost. Um, Cecilia just have lots of tweets and uh, predictably coming from a lot of Arsenal fans. And this one is the obvious question. Venga out. I mean, we saw that campaign at the start um, before yesterday's game. I mean, what, what's your take on that? Well, I, I think, think the, 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 it's come to the end of the road. I, I think he has because the fans are already tired. I mean, um, it's been a long time since the last taste of the silverware. And you must understand that the fans want to at least celebrate with their team come the end of the season. Mm -hmm. But as I said, even if you bring in a new coach to come coach Arsenal, if the board continues with a buying policy, yeah. they will still continue this way. So it's all about the players at the end of the day. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you, Joseph, Joseph. for coming. <laughs> Thanks for having me, Cecilia. <laughs> thank you for watching. I'm Cecilia. I'm all there. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm Tyler Salam.